It's like glasses for your ears. <laughs> when we first set out to develop this new Adele drum technology, we set out with a very ambitious goal, to avoid the hearing loss that is attendant upon using all personal listening devices. I'm Stephen Ambrose. I'm the original inventor of the wireless in-ear monitors. So if you see people performing on stage and they look like they have gum in their ears, that's my fault. These devices allow you to hear on stage like you're in the studio. And this was the precursor of personal listening devices that we all use today. You wake up in the morning and you think, okay, everyone's being able to perform and do concerts with my device and it's become a, a wonderful thing where people have personal listening devices, except my invention is deafening the world. That's not something you want to wake up to. The story behind it is I had swim molds that my mom had bought and I hollowed these out with holes in them and stuck transistor radio speakers on them. And I made the first in-ear monitors. Stevie Wonder helped me popularize this in the 70s. And I squirt this impression material to take molds of his ears. I hollowed out these ear impressions and put speakers on them. And I plugged them into the studio feed and the drummer kicked the kick drum. Boom, boom. And some of the dust that was left from hollow hollowing out the earpiece shot out of the sound tube. So I'm looking at this, about ready to put it in Stevie's ears, thinking, that's not sound. That's pneumatic pressure. That's what you fill your tires with. Acoustic pressures, even if you turned them up loud enough for everybody's ears to bleed for miles around, they still wouldn't lift your car off the ground. Any earphone or headphone that takes a seal in order for you to hear bass is relying on this mechanical advantage of pneumatic pressures in order to create bass. So we have those kinds of pressures being generated by sealing speakers in the ear. And what is it pushing against? Your eardrum. These have been studied and proven to have a 77% increased risk of hearing loss. I stopped making these devices until I could figure out how to make them safer in a way that also made them sound better. And I got a grant from the National Science Foundation and the National Institutes of Health, and I developed a team, and we set out with a very ambitious goal. It took years to figure out what was really going on. We needed a solution to having a speaker operate as though it's in a free field, not creating these pressures, and still be sealed. Our ability to advance this technology is because of the tremendous support that we've received from Autodesk. As a subscriber to Autodesk Fusion, the kind of support that we've received has enabled us to move at lightning speeds in developing faster, better products and bringing them to market in a more efficient manner. Here's a video of us working with one of the mentors at Autodesk that get right online and help us understand how to best use their technology with our technology to make something no one ever did before and what we've been dreaming of for years. Your 3D CAD technology works incredibly well with Ember, which has your own language of Spark, which is a new language to talk to all uh, computer automated manufacturing devices, is that right? Exactly, we've, we've made a seamless transition from you, uh, for you to go not only the idea in your head into the CAD tool, but here and then out and uh, realize it uh, in a few hours with a 3D printer. So to talk about that, let's actually start in the CAD tool, Autodesk Fusion. And this is an online cloud-based 3D modeling, parametric modeling software. I'm very happy to help out in any way that I can. Uh, my job is to make sure people are using our technology, Autodesk technology, to the best of their abilities. Miles Davis became famous for playing the notes that weren't actually on the page. And by using Fusion 360, we were able to imagine and implement great ideas one after the other. But this was happening faster than anyone could possibly put down on paper. Our use of Autodesk's Fusion product innovation platform software has led to our being able to make huge strides in improving both the quality of life as well as the quality of onstage performances for many well-known celebrities. From the cover of the Rolling Stone to sound stages all over the world, artists including ACDC's Brian Johnson, Paul Stanley of KISS, 
and Beyonce are experiencing the ability to hear better at lower volumes due to our revolutionary Adele technology made possible through Autodesk Fusion. So I developed a second eardrum. When you seal the speaker in the ear, instead of beating up your eardrum, it beats up this out of the way second eardrum. Here we have a speaker in a tube like the ear canal, and over here we have the eardrum. And right here we have a new invention called the Ambrose Diaphonic Ear Lens, which is a second eardrum, and you can see it moving. Now when I seal this, look what happens to the eardrum. You can see it moving violently. So we're able to take one earbud speaker and build it inside this ear lens and have a eardrum on the outside. We had a wonderful discovery that it enhanced sound and listening experience. It actually brought the sound out of your head and the experience of life with your music surrounds you that you feel like you're really there. I can hear the dynamics. Yeah. The bass response is remarkable. It's like huge. And you can still carry on a conversation. Yeah. It gets rid of this closeted feeling. This opens up your audio experience and also allows you to include your environment in your experience. And it's the way your ears were meant to hear in the first place. And it's also the way that speakers were meant to operate. Now you see the difference that's happening in my oh, voice? Too. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna roll them all the way back. Mm -hmm. This technology is easy to adjust. You start to roll these tensioners forward and it's like focusing a lens. And if you have a bit of hearing loss where one ear isn't the same as the other, you can adjust these so as to place the sound where it should be for an optimal listening experience. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's working. <laughs> yeah, it's working. It's working. It's a engineering. Yeah, so you hear the sound. Yeah. And the sound is big, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. That's yeah. incredible. That's awesome. We have people who have severe hearing loss, 70 or 80% hearing loss, that with this new earbud, they hear better than they've ever heard with any hearing aid or any earbud or headphone. So tell me about your experience with that. They're definitely better than regular hearing aids, for sure, absolutely, because they still have more sound, you know, that I can hear, and it's not so so closed off. If someone were to speak to you from over there. Right, I don't know what this is. Go ahead, guys. Hello. Oh, I heard you even clear your voice. See, that's cool. With my hearing aids, you know, I'll like turn around and be like, who's talking? So what Lara is experiencing is a sound experience that's surrounding her where the location of things is much more accurate than it is with normal hearing aids. Every time we show this to somebody, they go, I'm in a studio, I'm at the concert, the sound is outside my head, and I can almost see where the artists are in front of me. But it puts the audio experience for gaming, for 3D virtual reality, outside of your head, in a world that now surrounds you instead of you surrounding it. Yeah, everything's got a lot more shape and contour to it. Because of this technology, we have artists that are hearing for the first time the way they used to before rock and roll stole their normal hearing. Definitely picking up way more clarity in the bass. Oh good, so you have pitch. Yeah, hearing pitch and hearing notes that honestly I didn't hear before. Oh good. Yeah, so you know, you're taking something that's kind of in focus and, and getting it sharpened. Your support of this Indiegogo Adele Drum Project funds the research that is creating the hearing aid. Can you hear that? This inflatable eardrum that has been restoring hearing function in people with totally deaf ears. Holy smokes! <laughs> I don't know what I don't, I don't know what to say. And we're extremely happy to be able to pursue this. The chance that this technology can allow for people to have entertainment, to attend concerts, to perform, to talk on the phone, and not have to go deaf in the process. It's outside their head, it's inside their heart. This is what we've done, and we have lots of people 
starting to realize it and cheer us on. Won't you join us 